My name is Michael Troy Richardson. I'm the CEO of Momentum Engineering and a zipline expert. I have three patents for passive braking zipline trolleys. My first patent came when a company, Park City Mountain Resort, contacted my company, AA Machine and Welding, and wanted a zipline for the 2002 Olympics. I developed a zipline passive braking trolley for that system that is now called Zip Rider. I built the towers. I had the springs manufactured and the spacers and I manufactured the trolleys. This is my third patent. It's a handheld three pound passive braking trolley. The advantages of this patent is pin placement is located. The safety pin is required to keep that location for that zip line ride. There's an oval shaped hole that'll indicate when it's time to replace or rotate the brake material. When the brake material is wore down, you rotate the brake 180 degrees and then replace the pin. If you've already rotated the brake, you need to replace the brake. Easily selected pin placements allow for stopping riders easily. Has a wheel that is capable of running on half inch through three quarter inch cable, the only one of its kind. An extra hole for a safety carabiner if desired. Expert design zipline trolley. Passive braking, capable of active braking. I will now demonstrate how this passive braking trolley will go on to a cable. You first slide it over the cable, allowing these two side plates to slide on. Once the pin placement is desired, then the safety pin is placed into the secondary safety, keeping this location locked and unadjustable. You then connect your rider to this point here. You take your secondary backup tether and you can place it here or back here. The advantage of placing it right here is the rider can pull down on this and apply more brake. I will now show you some of the key features of this trolley. It has stainless steel construction. It is the side plates are backed up by two pins and a third pin. So when the rider is connected, there's no worry about this failing. The manual will explain more details on the inspection of this trolley. The trolley has stainless steel side plates, stainless steel tabs. The wheel is capable of running on half inch through three quarter inch cable. This brake polymer is very durable and will last through a season. The way this works is the as the brake material is worn down, you'll start seeing the cable show up in this oval hole. Once the oval hole is filled with the cable, you take and rotate this brake material 180 degrees, and you will be able to use the other side of this brake. Then you're gonna place the pin back in the hole and lock it down. These safety pins are standards. The standards require safeties. I will now demonstrate the ease of installing a barrel spring system. 
it'll take me less than three minutes to install this spring and connect it to two spacers. Each time you rotate the spring, make sure the little hooked end goes over the top of the cable or the spring will try to spin itself off as you're trying to get it spun on. Once you get to the middle of the spring, it becomes relatively easy to finish spinning the spring onto the cable. Once the cable is on, the spring is on the cable, you will take the black spacers that are UV rated material, highly durable, and lock the hooked end of the spring into the spacer. The spacer has a notch for that hooked end. The insert will then be placed on top and slid in until it's flush. As I demonstrate, notice how the hooked end has to go to where there is clearance for the little black insert. Then you take the second spring, ensuring that there is clearance if the springs aren't pressed in correctly, the insert will not slip in as easily. To easily get the spring spacer insert in place, the spring hooks need to be nested inside of the spacer. Then you will take a torque 2 zero, a torque 20 power driver and tighten the spacer screws. Then the bumper spacer, which is slightly different than the spring spacer, it is made that way so that the trolleys can bump into the end of it. It is highly durable UV rated material and will last several years. As you place the bumper spacer on, make sure that the hooked end is in place in the insert or the insert will not go in. To rotate the spring a little bit more and the insert will easily go in. Ensure that the insert is flush with the spacer and then drive the two screws in. It's that simple. ZiplineBreakingSystems.com you can also reach me through the website. A freewheeling trolley is reaching speeds before it hits the springs of over 10 miles per hour. Now the passive brake in the zipline trolley with more weight and more weight. This one has on it. over 200 pounds of weight. Passive braking trolley at ziplinebrakingsystems.com.